the year with the Lord. Shalom! Welcome, Welcome to Southern Night Kids! I am Kelly and I am Ella! Time flies so fast, right? But I hope that you remain in faith to our one and only true God. Yeah! I pray that you will stay in His love and grace. And have a happy new year in the presence of dear Lord Jesus! And May this whole coming year be filled with works that glorify our Lord Jesus. And it may be filled as well with joy for you have Jesus Christ in your lives. Yeah! May this new year be fruitful too. And through our lives, may the name of Jesus be proclaimed. Now, let's all pray together. Put your hands together, close our eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Our dear Lord Jesus, thank you for another year you gave. Help us to continue to know you and seek you. May your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ella, how was your Christmas celebration? Oh, it's great! I had fun with my family! How about you? Same with me! I honestly don't want this season to end. If only possible, that is my wish too. I just recently had the time to open the gifts I received. I see. Oh, you know what? I received some letters and cards too. Wow! It's a lot! I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of sweet messages there. Well, you're right. And one letter captured my attention. Can you tell me what's wrong in it? Hmm. It was the picture of Jesus when he was born on earth. It seems there's nothing wrong with it. Are you sure? Take a second look. I also asked some of my colleagues about their opinion in this picture. What did they say? I am not seeing anything wrong with it. It's just the usual picture of Jesus' birth. You know what? Most of them did not notice what's wrong in this picture. Mm. Ah, I give up. I can think of anything wrong. Well, if we will remember the story of birth of Jesus, the major was not there but the shepherd. Ah, many were mistaken there, even me. They thought that at the time Jesus was born, the shepherds and the magi both visited him at the same time. In most of the Berlin, we can see the magi or the wise men were present, but that's definitely wrong. I agree. I didn't see it also, but based on study, when the Magi came, it's already a month or more than a month later. Correct! Many know the wrong concept about Jesus' birth, but it's important for us to know what's truly happened. I agree! It's better, I think, for us to clarify this event. The time when the Magi came to see the King was born. Yeah! We better tell you a story so you may fully understand. It sounds fun! It's Bible story time! So, sit down, open your eyes widely, carefully listen, and hush! Are you ready? During the time when Jesus was born, there was a very mean and bad king who ruled the land. His name was King Herod. Soon after Jesus was born, Magi from the east. One night, they noticed a very strange star in the sky. They knew that this star meant that the king of the Jews, the one who would save the world, had been born. They came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star from the east and came to worship him. When the mean King Herod heard this, he got very worried. He called a meeting with all the other important people in the area and asked them where this special baby had been born. The people replied, In Bethlehem in Judea, for that is what a prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. 
They knew this because they heard that one day a special person would come from there and take care of all the people. Then King Herod called the Magi to a secret meeting and found out from them exactly where they saw the star. He then told them, Go and find this child. As soon as you find him, tell me so that I can go and worship him. After they had spoken to the king, the Magi left to find the baby. They didn't know exactly where the baby was, but at night, they followed the star in the east. They followed the star until it hung right over the very place where Jesus was. When they finally had arrived, they were very excited and happy. They found Jesus lying in Mary's arms, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened the gifts they had brought Jesus. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These were very expensive gifts. There were gifts that you would give to a king, not to a baby. Mary thanked them for bringing the gifts for Jesus, and the wise men went to find a place to sleep for the night. As the wise men slept, they each had the same dream. They were not to go back and tell King Herod where they found Jesus. King Herod didn't want to find Jesus to worship him. Instead, he wanted to kill him because he was jealous that this baby would someday be better than him. So the wise men went home another way so that Herod would not know where they had come from. They also decided that they would not tell King Herod anything about what they had seen. When Herod realized that the Magi did it told him where is the baby, he became furious and gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up! Take Jesus and Mary and run away to Egypt. Stay there until I come to you again, because Herod is going to search for Jesus to kill him. Joseph immediately got up and woke Mary. She gently picked up Jesus so he wouldn't wake from his sleep. They left in the middle of the night for Egypt so no one would see them. They were safe as they stayed in Egypt. They learned that King Herod had died. An angel appeared to Joseph and told him he could go to a place called Nazareth. And that is where Jesus grew up. Whoa! We can see in the story how God made everything follow according to His will. The Magi came to see Jesus, the promised king, as God made the promise He has made true. We can see that Herod has hidden motive to know where Jesus is. So, he secretly called the Magi and planned to kill Jesus. Well, God is omniscient, so He knows what's on every people's hearts and minds. So surely, God knows the plan of Herod. So, God spoke to the three wise men and told them not to go back to Herod. We can see how God protected Jesus and his family to Herod. However, Herod uses his power, but he cannot use it against what God wants to happen. Any wealth, power, or strength cannot hinder the will of God. Many innocent children died because Herod was so desperate to keep the promised king, but he did not win against God. See how selfish and bad Herod is? He wants to be the only king that people worship and adore, and that is very, very bad. So, he died. On the other hand, God remained on protecting family of Jesus until they stayed in Nazareth, wherein, as said in the prophecies, he will become Nazarene. See how God shaped everything according to his plan? Whatever he plans to happen really happens, and no one can ever stop him. And whoever wants to be enemy will always lose just like Herod and will never get their selfish motives and desire. So, it's better to follow God. Just like Mary, Joseph, and the Magi, they listened intently to God said and they followed it. I hope that you all do the same even this coming year because doing God's will will never make you regret. May your lives be according to what God has planned. That's right! Well, now move on to another fun, 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 fun activity all for you! Get ready your paper and pen! Come on! Artie Handy! Hey, Andy. Welcome to Artie Handy! Today, we'll be drawing the stars that led the Magi to Egypt. 
begin then. First, we need a yellow paper and we have to cut it just like this. Let's fold the paper and make sure that it's equally folded. Okay, great! We have to cut this exact part of the paper. Just be careful with your hands. Okay, next, once you open, you will get a square shape. And then, let's fold it again just like this. And then fold it again from the top to bottom. You will see an X mark. Next, fold the edge of the paper reaching the center of the X mark. Okay, and then fold it in this way and then press it. Now, this side, fold it in this way. Okay, and then turn it upside down and fold it just like this. I know you can do it! Now, let's cut this part and you will get a triangle shape. Once you open, you will see the shape with lines. All you need to do is fold it. You need to fold it alternately just like this. Okay, you're doing great! Now, let's put a string on it. Just cut a little portion of the string and attach it at the back of the star. And then let's put a scotch tape to secure the star. You are able to make a beautiful star. Did you have fun today, kids? I have fun today. See you next time. Bye. Uh, yippee! This is what the major followed to see the newborn king. Yeah! I can imagine how bright the star would be. This is such a great reminder that a savior once born. I hope you followed in making this artwork and please share it with your family and friends. I'll do the same too. Now, prepare yourself for more and more fun. Get ready to sing our memory verse song. So stand up, sing out loud, and dance with us.
Did you have fun with us? I hope you learned the right story about Jesus' birth and learn as well to listen to the voice of God and walk according to His will. Remove our own desires and motives for you cannot win against God. Ah, Thanks Jesus for such a great reminder. I'll keep that in mind. So now, let's pray and praise Him. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Our dear Lord, thank you Jesus for another year. Give us ears to listen and hearts to obey. May your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And before we say goodbye, we want to invite you again for another fun and exciting activities with us next week. Always remember that God's plan is the best, so walk according to it. You cannot fight it nor stop it. So, that's all for today. Jesus loves you and be a sunlight kids. Bye-bye!